And I can tell you that there's a, not another uh, congressional district in the entire country with 25 prisons in it. Congresswoman, what I wanted to ask you is what are you are going to be in federal court tomorrow? That's correct. What are you going to be doing there? Well, I'm just going to be listening. Uh, uh, my attorney will be making a presentation. I understand it's 30 minutes on his side, and then the other side has 20 minutes, and then the House and Senate have five each. So it's just one hour. It's 9 o'clock tomorrow morning in Tallahassee. And what are you hoping that they're, what are they fighting for? Well, I'm fighting for a stay. Is that the correct? Right, yeah, right. I just, yeah, that's correct. To leave things just the way they are while you sort this stuff out. But clearly in 1992, uh, when the federal court drew my district, not the legislature and not me, and they put communities of interest together, this totally destroys it. Looking at this and given everything that's happened, you're taking this, do you think you have a chance? Well, let me tell you something. <clears throat> I can't tell you how many people in this community have come up to me and tell me they're praying. So we'll see. Are you concerned, given the, everything that's been happening lately, that that's going to have an impact on all of this? Well, I'm sure that's why they're doing it. What do you mean? Well, you know, the, the goal is to take me out. I realize that. Th th that's no better example. The goal is to take you out, and all of these other charges, allegations that are being levied, same thing? As far as I'm concerned, it's all together. The goal is to get rid of Corrine Brown. Why? You tell me why. Who else do the stuff that I do? And I love my community, and I love my constituents. But when you look at this, clearly, who drew this district knew that this was a non-performing district, and it would not produce an African-American, not even a Democrat. You know, I look at all this. You were, you were held as the hero in transportation with this city. You know, <laughs> I, when still the I, I still am. But, and, and now I, it's transportation that they're coming back on you. I, no, but, but no, transportation. I am the transportation guru, period. I, I, I'm working for the port, airport, JTA. I mean, that's, that's who I am. Well, and that's and what they're saying. Well, that's well what I don't problem, care what they're saying. You know, when you look at what they're saying, you know, it's one side of the ledger. When is the other side going to come out? Well, and that's, and I, I know we've asked, and you, your lawyer say, that's right. buckle up on that. And this that. is one of them. But th this, is, <laughs> this, but is, this is, isn't this the time to say something to defend yourself now that the, the, you know, the Justice Department is making their statement, now that the Ethics Commission is making their statement? Isn't this time for you to, to say what's going on? No, I paid these mouthpieces, and they got to talk for me. I can talk about the district, and that's what I'm talking about. I am talking about this proposed change uh, in this district that would be non-performing. And when they drew this district, they knew that that district would not produce. But more than that, there's no community of interest. It, the 1965 Voting Rights Act said, draw these, this community. And you talk about, oh, it's 140 miles. And it meandered down here. These are communities, when you look at it, that put people together, Sanford, Florida. Jackie Robinson couldn't live in Sanford. He had to go to Daytona. I mean, this, these put these communities together. This district, non-performing. Uh, 25 of prisons. Community of interest meaning um, special <laughs> groups, or I just wanted to make sure I get that. We talking about African-American blacks and others that live in these communities that didn't have representation. When you look at Gainesville, the only other black person that was elected to Congress in 129 years came from Gainesville, Florida. And I guess, and here, what you're saying, that there is no black community within that, that corridor. I am saying that it's a non-performing district. You have 25 prisons. So even with the blacks there, they're in the prisons. And. <laughs> With the results of tomorrow, I know it's a hearing. It's going to take a while before anything happens. But could the judge issue a stay? Or oh yeah, he could. Yeah, they could. They could. And and the, we're praying. And that's and that would have, this could affect this upcoming election. Oh, absolutely. That's what we want. You know, I thought about. You know, I love my 
area that I represent. Period. All right. Are you one and of her they love me. <laughs> You're one of her attorneys? Yeah, but I'm not briefed yet. So. Uh, I mean, I just, because, I just think it's so important that somebody has to say something about these investigations. It's a zip it, zip it, zip it. But like, all I'm just trying to figure out it, to get her side, you know, we're hearing like Vaughn Alexander is involved, the staff is involved, and they're all coming under question. What do, what do we tell these? What do you want to say about these people? Are they involved in some type of conspiracy? Oh, I don't know. We're still investigating in the matter on the other side because remember, it's the government. It, according to the newspaper, it says the Department of Justice. So that sounds like either a civil or a criminal investigation. So the government is probably the one that's more uh, um, equipped to answer that question for you because we're still trying to figure it out. We're the usually the last people to know what the government does, and a big, mighty government. You've not received um, any subpoena, anything of that nature? Nothing that I can disclose uh, at this point. Got it. Very good.